Hey, what's up? Snell, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital View. Today we're gonna be blasting Vastum Carnal Law. Debut full length on 20 bucks spin records. Fuck yes. So good. Actually has my favorite Vastum song on it. Track two, remember? So fucking good. If you need to get into Vastum, start at the fucking beginning and then work your way up. Cause you cannot go wrong with Carnal Law. And if for some reason this doesn't click with you, you can always try out Patricidical Lust, Hold Below, they're split with Spectral Voice, but to me, Carnal Law and Patricidical Lust are essential fucking American death metal listening. Listening. Whatever, you know what I mean. Listen to this shit and bang your fucking head in. And today, I actually had a tiny part in getting this next record on a label, published and everything, which is cool as fuck. And if you follow me on Facebook, you know that every morning at like 5 a.m., I wake up at like 4.45 every day. I'm still on that schedule when my dad was sick and everything. But I like that schedule because it's like, all right, if someone actually gives me a fucking job, I'm already good to wake up at like fucking 5 a.m. That's nothing. Like, I got it by the balls. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. But this is organic and carved in flesh on Testimony Records. And this thing took a beating crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Do not let the cosmetic display here deter you. Testimony Records is sick as fuck. Dennis is an awesome guy. And, uh, yeah, I somehow managed to help get an Italian death metal band from the Alps on the Testimony Records based off of posting what they had up on their band camp. And that's fucking awesome. And what you get out of Carved in Flesh by Organic is some straight up fucking HM2 buzzsaw guitar worshipping death metal. That, if I didn't tell you it was from Italy, you'd be like, this is straight up fucking some new gate creeper material or something along those lines. And I would have to say, nope, it's organic. Literally, it's fucking organic, carved in flesh. Vicious, vicious HM2 pedal worship here. Fucking sick vocals. Instead of going for like a more melodic, sing along y style of Sweet Death, organic go the fucking more guttural, crematory route, which is sick. Like, because if you're a fan of like Dismember, Nihilist, kind of your usual Swedish suspects, Entombed, you're gonna love this. Like, I'm just throwing that out there, but at the same time, you might be like, well, where's the originality? To me, the originality is in the vocal delivery. I really, really love the vocals on here, but part of me's like, hey, dude, just listen to fucking nails. And you can just do that, but like, the day that I posted this up, like, I was just posting bands that I was listening to stumbled across this and happened to, you know, enjoy it. And next thing I know, I'm getting hit up saying, hey, I signed a band that, you know, you posted earlier. And I'm like, holy shit, like, that's fucking sick. And you get 10 tracks on here, and it's pretty much some kind of just straight up HM2 pedal worshiping death metal. So, if that's fucking up your alley, holy shit, is organic, carved in flesh. Have your name written all over these grooves. Seriously, like, 
Wow. They really, really sound like they're from Sweden. I, I did not know they were from the Alps until I like started like investigating their Bandcamp page. And I was just like, holy shit. I could have swore organic were fucking Swedish, but nah. In Italy, and this is their fucking debut full length, Carved in Flesh. Testimony Records, and just some straight up old school Swedish sounding death metal. That HM2 pedal is right out in front, and it sounds sick. Like, it's like a filthier sounding gate creeper vocally. Especially vocally. But like, if you're looking for like some more pissed off sounding, entombed core, or just some sweet death, you know, you can always listen to Nails or whatever, but like, Organic is fucking one of those bands that you may not have heard before that might just fucking kick your ass to the goddamn floor and be like, yo, this is a fun listen. Remember, music is supposed to be fun. It's not whoever dies with the most white sneakers is the one that wins. No. Death Metal's about fucking what you like. Not what I like. What you personally like as a human being or an interdimensional being. Whatever you are watching this right now. Organic sound anything but organic but that's fucking the charm here you know what to expect all you have to do is go on their band camp and it's like oh these guys love the hm2 pedal and there's nothing wrong with that seriously i don't know why people like fucking hate on bands that are like oh well you know might as well just listen to the real thing like, I would much rather listen to Dismember Pieces. Wouldn't we all? But, like, not all of us own fucking Dismember Pieces. I like when bands sometimes just get that old school, like, vibe and kind of bring new light to it. And with Organic, it's with the vocal delivery and the patterns and shit. It's not just, like your typical Swedish death or your typical melodic Swedish death metal because this is Italian death metal. It just sounds utterly Swedish. So, at the end of the day, yes, a lot of bands play this style of death metal. And there's nothing wrong with that. How many bands right now are going for that, like, I hate using this word, but cavernous knuckle dragging like caveman death sound so many bands and they don't even really know what they're going for but then there's bands that just fucking absolutely nail the fucking hammer in the christ wrist and it's like fuck yeah like that was sick like like with spectral voice you know evokes fucking disembowelment no one's like, ah, oh, like, you know, they're ripping off disembowelment, whatever. It's like, fuck yeah. Because it's an awesome and semi-obscure influence. And when it's added into their fucking already mind-warping necrotic doom, it's like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. And that's what organic carved in flesh is. It's awesome when you let it be awesome. But if you go into this being like, Oh, well, I'd rather listen to Gate Creeper. I'd rather listen to Nails. Then you're not going to enjoy this at all. And you're going into it with preconceived notions that, Oh, it's just going to sound like another fucking entombed ripoff. But it's not really. It has its own fucking flair to it that has more rooted in bolt thrower, honestly, than it does in Entombed. The only thing really is, happens to be that fucking buzzsaw guitar tone that so many Swedish death metal bands used to follow the left hand path and come out come out with such fucking sick records like 
like an ever flowing stream. Fucking carved in flesh is something completely different. It's different yet the same. I don't really know how to put it in the words properly, but organic HM2 pedal worshipping lovers of old school Swedish death metal. If that doesn't sound like it's up your alley, hey, it's probably not then. Go throw on fucking Demilic Nespeth or something like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But like, think of it this way. How many bands out there have taken the Demilic formula and have done their own thing with it? Again, it's kind of like a very pretty much equal number to how many bands have, you know, worshipped the mighty HM2 pedal. Like, I don't know why people sometimes, like, just take digs at bands because they happen to sound like other bands. Like, Organic Carved Their Flesh? Yes, it sounds like almost every band that I mention. But at the end of the day, Organic sounds like Organic. And Carbs and Flesh is just a fun death metal album. That's it. That's all it is. It's a fun listen. Every track on here, and you get some bonus tracks and everything. It's fucking just a fun ass listen. The only thing is, I really do hope that fucking Dennis at Testimony Records just throw some bubble wrap in next time with an international order. The USPS is notoriously brutal when it comes to overseas mail. And I don't know why though, there was like no bubble wrap in this package and luckily the LP wasn't really damaged. It just skips a little tiny bit. It's no big deal. But Carved in Flesh is just like I said, just a fun death metal record. And at the end of the day, if you're a fan of old school Swedish death metal, I can't say this enough. You're gonna fucking dig this. And if you're a fan of the whole, you know, entombed core thing, you're gonna also probably devour this like vermin. But at the same time, you have this kind of warfare esque vibe to it, where that kind of bolt thrower influence I feel comes in, especially with the vocals. The vocals on here are really, really sick. Like, I'm a big fan of the vocals, which kind of was the reason I posted the EP to begin with. And Suffocating Blood's probably my favorite track on here. It just starts things off with a fucking literal bang. As this is some fucking straight up HM2 warfare. So, if that sounds like it's your cup of tea, some HM2 worshipping Italians that sound like they're playing Swedish death metal, then Carved in Flesh is all for you on Testimony Records. Get into it, I'll put the links below, and yeah, sick shit. If you're a fan of Bolt Thrower, Entombed, Nails, Dismember, Grave, Crematory, you're gonna love that record. Trust me. Seriously. You'll at least like something about it. But we're blasting Vastum, Carnal Law, and 20 Buck Spin. Grade A death metal here. And Organic's good. It's just, you know, it's nothing totally original, but it's fucking fun, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. So, as always, make up your own mind, but thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. Peace.